Hey guys, this is Cyber Technologies and I'm Malidu. And in this video, we are going to code the buttons and this checkbox. So far, we have made something like this. If you run this program, we have this form with the username, password fields, and also we have this checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions. And also, we have two buttons, but they don't really do anything. We still can't move the form, but we are going to build all of these things in the future. So, in this video, what we are going to do is we will code these two buttons so like if we want to sign in we will check whether the username is correct and the password is correct and also only if the checkbox is checked the user can click on sign in button and also we will code this exit button so that we can exit the application from here so without any further ado let's get started the first thing i'm gonna do is i will go to this checkbox and i will go to the properties and from here let's go down here and let's change the checked thing to true or you can change the check state to checked so what this does is actually it will check the checkbox when you know when you launch the application it will be checked by default and also next we are going to have to do something in the button so actually we don't have to do anything because we already set the checkbox to be checked so you have to make note of this enabled feature so if we double click on this to change it to false or you can use this drop down and let's say if we launch the application so early we could click on the sign in button although it didn't do anything but we could click on it but now we can't because that sign in button is disabled so what we are going to do is we are going to toggle that button's enabled feature by using this checkbox so right now this is disabled so i'm going to the properties and changing it to true again so next i'm going to double click on this checkbox so that brings us to the checkbox one checked changed event handler so now in the event handler we are going to type some code so the first thing I'm going to do is I will check whether the checkbox is checked. So to do that, obviously you need to create an if condition. So what I'm going to check is checkbox one checked. So as this is a Boolean, you don't have to see whether it is true or something like that. You can just return it. So if the checkbox is checked, then what you need to do is change the buttons enabled feature to true. So in the else statement, you can type button one enabled equals false so now if we run the program and if we try to uncheck this as you can see the button just disabled and we can re-enable it by clicking on the checkbox so that's pretty cool right so next we are going to code this exit button because that's very easy so to do that let's go to the form and i'm going to double click on the exit button and we are going to type application double colon exit so obviously this will exit the application so let's run the program so now if we click on the exit button the application will exit so that's a good way to exit out of our application so let's go back to our form and next one what i'm going to do is i will go to the sign in button and i will double click on it to change to create the event handler so now we are going to write some algorithm so remember that i said in the first video that we are going to design a um, a super algorithm to check whether the uh, username is correct and the password is correct so that's what we are going to do now so we need an if condition obviously so what i'm going to do is i will type text box one text is equals to admin so i'm going to type admin so if the text box's text is equal to admin then i'm going to check whether the password is also correct so to do that we can type text box two text equals to my password so what i'm going to do is i will type root this means that both of these are correct so right now what i'm going to do is i will just exit out of the application and in the future we will add some code here so that we can invoke a new function or something like that to do something do some real work but right now i'm gonna just exit the application so if the password is incorrect we can prompt the user that the password is incorrect so to do that we can use a message box i think you have watched the video about message boxes so if you haven't definitely check that out because that's really important to understand this part so we will show the message box and the first thing is gonna be the message so i'm gonna type incorrect password and the next parameter is the title of the window so i'm gonna type error and next we need to message box uh icon i suppose yeah uh, and we will set that to error and the next one is message box buttons and we will set that to okay 
so with this code we can launch a message box so let's try that so actually we have an error so I think these two need to this one needs to go after this one I suppose so let's change that quickly actually I kind of miss this all the time like all the time so now let's launch this one so now if you type admin here and in the password field so note that I push the cursor to the password field and that's not a fancy thing you can do this by pressing tab and this will work on every application used so that is not something that we coded so in the password field I'm gonna type something like this and now that we have agreed to the terms and conditions let's hit sign in and it says that the password is incorrect and if we type the correct password like root we can exit out of the application and there is one last thing we need to do that is what if that uh, username is incorrect so to do that let's type the else statement and we will show the same sorry the same message box but saying that the password is not but the user name is incorrect so now let's launch the application so we can type something like this and we can type something like that and let's sign in and it says incorrect username and let's try to put the correct username like that and if you press sign in incorrect password oops and the final thing is to put root and sign in done so the last thing what I'm gonna do in this video is I will change the text field of the password so that it looks like a password so let's click on the text box and go to properties and from here scroll down a bit and let's choose true for this use system password chart so what will what this will do is it will show that bullet icon which comes as default in Windows for password fields or you can use your own password character like you know you can use a char so then we would have to put this to false and if we run this program now when we type on the password field it will just show some stars or we can do that bullet thing which is you know which is kind of nice there just the star so let's try to run this program so now when we type something in the password field yeah that's pretty fine so in the next video what I'm gonna do is I will add a panel to this form for the terms and conditions page so we can add some text in there and when we click on the label the panel will show so that's the goal of the next video so in this video we talked about how we can create event handlers for these buttons and the checkbox and also you learn how to check whether the username is correct and the password is correct and then if they are right do something so that's something you cannot do i suppose without my special algorithm so that's a very good algorithm and i suppose you enjoyed this video so if you did hit like share and subscribe and let's meet you in the next video bye